Okay. Hi, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Um, so do you just want to introduce yourself and then tell me a little bit about Lily, like how old she is, stuff like that? Yeah. So my name is Christopher Wesley. Um, I am 26 years old and I have a daughter named Liliana who goes by Lily and she just turned three on the 3rd of September. Okay, sweet. Um, and then um, what have you noticed about like Lily's eating patterns just like from kind of when from the time she was born to now? Um, I feel like she has gotten more picky on her food um, when she was younger and we were first starting to give her actual food she was very like open to trying pretty much everything she ate like everything that we gave her um, now she's a lot more um, she like picks what she wants to eat more I guess um, she doesn't really ask for a whole lot like trying to think how to say it's like if I like oh hey I'm gonna make mac and cheese like she'll get excited for that or if I'm gonna make like chicken and vegetables and stuff like that like she'll she doesn't like say like no I want something else yet but like once I give her her dinner she's very like she'll only pick at like one thing or if she doesn't like something like she just doesn't eat that now like before she sees everything and now she's a lot more um decisive with what she chooses to actually eat and it can be kind of hard to get her to eat everything yeah now. definitely definitely so like um what have you found that works and what doesn't like when it comes to feeding her so like if you want her to get to eat something is there something is there something that you'll do to kind of try to influence her and is there something that you've tried that hasn't worked in the past um I try to I guess more or less bribe her um yeah. sometimes that's with like dessert with like a treat that I know she likes she like really likes M&Ms or with like oh like for like lunches like oh if you eat you know more of this then like I'll take you to the park or I'll let you go outside and play like bribing her with stuff that I know she likes to do that um gets her to eat more it tends to work for the most part yeah have you ever um, tried anything that didn't really work um for the most part right now just straight asking her to eat doesn't really work <laughs> like if she doesn't want to eat it then she's like protests eating it and then gets all upset but if yeah. I like bribe her or stuff like that she tends to to do a little bit better yeah definitely um and then do you have any concerns about Lily's eating habits um I wouldn't say any big concerns sometimes um like certain days sometimes she's like doesn't eat a whole lot for like lunch something like that and I get I think I just over worry as parent like oh she's not eating enough like because she's running around playing and all this stuff but I also think she's just excited wants to run around and play type deal like she's just not feeling hungry but then dinner comes and generally she tends to eat a little bit more gotcha. um, so she mostly eats like does she eat the majority of like her meals and calories for dinner time usually breakfast and dinner okay usually okay. she'll she's pretty she's pretty good about breakfast and she loves uh like fruit like her bananas and uh she loves like frozen berries and stuff like that um, okay she likes oatmeal for some reason <laughs> That's kind of strange. I feel like that's a yeah. weird texture for little kids to like. <laughs> yeah. Um, she likes that. She loves like pastas and stuff. The problem is that you don't usually make a lot of pastas except for like dinners and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she's generally a lot more picky with lunch. Like she'll eat some, but she's kind of hit or miss with lunch. Um, she tends to snack throughout the day. She loves like cheese sticks, uh, like the string cheese stuff. Um, yeah applesauce I'm trying to think obviously like fruit is pretty good like pretty much anytime I get her to snack on that throughout the day but as far as eating like her big meals it's generally like breakfast or dinner okay um and then have you noticed like 
with like the bribing and when you try to do that does she like normally usually succumb to that and like what uh what do you kind of mean by what do you mean by bribing like do you offer her like is it like oh if you eat this you get to eat dessert or you know something like that yeah so I just offer her something that I know that she'll want so Mm -hmm. whether that's dessert or um like what's big for lunch it's just during the day like I know she likes to go to the park or she likes to ride her little like uh bike outside or her sometimes her scooter but she likes to play outside a lot so I'll like bribe her with that so I'll just like offer her something that she wants of like hey like can you eat more of your food and then you know I'll let you go outside if you eat your food or if you eat you finish your food that you have or something along those lines okay nice and then um so now that you have a three-year-old and you've been working kind of through the toddler phase do you have any feeding tips that you would recommend to other parents that maybe are starting to go through this phase um <laughs> ooh, that's hard I'm still just trying to figure it out I'm sure every kid is different too you know right um yeah I, I'm trying to think of some I I'm all about the bribing even if it's not like with dessert you know even if there's like something healthy like because I know she likes to go outside and play or like offering her to you know get to watch her show on tv or something like that that's not necessarily like on as like unhealthy of a bribe it's like offering them like ice cream or like a bunch of sweets necessarily yeah um i would say that that can be helpful um just kind of like knowing what she does like like i mentioned like i know that she likes pasta so like Sometimes if she's not eating a whole lot for lunch, I'll try to make something, even if it's a little bit like separate for her right now, since she's so young of like for dinner, because I know that she likes pasta. So I'll try to make her some sort of pastas and some vegetables that I know that she really likes so that I know that she's going to eat more. Mm -hmm. Um, Hopefully she (laughs) is not as much revolving around her when she gets a little bit older, but just kind of doing that extra step just to make sure that she's getting the proper I guess nutrition that she needs so kind of going out of your way a little bit for them a little bit more yeah definitely um and then what if anything uh would you like to start doing differently when it comes to the way that you're feeding Lily Um, I'm hoping that when she gets older um and starts to I guess understand more of like hey like you need to eat um, that she'll eat more of like whatever we're making mm-hmm. and I can kind of do that instead of like right now, like instead of it more or less revolving around her, um, yeah. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping to do that more. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, obviously we both like a lot of the same foods and I think she likes a lot of those foods. I think she's just got all that energy and she doesn't want to sit still to eat. Yeah. Um, I think that's more of it right now with her being younger. So hopefully as she gets older, she'll realize more of like the importance of like, Hey, like you need to be eating. Yeah, definitely. It's important. <laughs> so All right. that's kind of my goal. So hopefully she'll just eat more, be open to eating more foods like she was when she was younger. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think right now it's kind of, she's kind of at a phase too, where she's like finding a little bit more of that independence. And so she's like, I don't want this. I don't want this, you know? Um, okay, sweet. So that is the end of our interview. Thanks so much again for agreeing to do this. Um, and yeah, sweet.